6.5 Reaction Types, Monday, January 13th. Before going to Reaction Types, let's see how this relates to the real world. Um, reaction Types generally relate to how iron pipes and plumbing rust in an apartment because they actually re react with oxygen over time. Also, baking soda and vinegar is a famous science fair experiment where it leads to the production of a gas and foaming. So in more specific terms, they actually form carbon dioxide gas. For this lesson, I'd like for you to actually review 6.3 so that you um, can review where reactants are, where products are, what symbols mean, and also the indicators of chemical change. Now let's talk about the first type of reaction, synthesis or direct combination. What this generally means is that two simpler substances combine to form a more complex one. So in order to remember this, just think of the word synthesize, which means to produce something or combine. So two simple things will generally combine to form a more complex one. And um, the general equation formats are the following. The most common one, which I want you to memorize, is A plus B gives you AB. So um, A and B, which are simple substances, will combine to form a more complex one, um, which is AB. Also, you'll have um, AB plus D, where both A and B react with D to form AD plus BD. So basically both A and B and AB um, bond with D to get AD plus BD. So examples of this include um, N2 plus 3H2 um, combining together to form 2NH3. All right, so A plus B gives you AB here, where A is N2, B is H2, and AB is NH3. In words, we can just summarize this as nitrogen and hydrogen combine to form ammonia. Two simple things are combining to form a more complex one right here. Same idea here. Um, you have CH4 plus 2O2 gives you CO2 plus 2H2O. And this follows the format AB plus D gives you AD plus BD. So basically, both uh, C and H are combining with O to form um, CO2 plus H2O. A is C, B is H4, and D is O2. So you get um, CH4 plus O2, which is AD, AB plus D, gives you um, CO2, which is AD, and H2O, which is BD. And just to summarize this in words, carbon and hydrogen right here and methane both will bond with oxygen from oxygen gas here to give you CO2 and H2O. So again, um, you're just taking two simple things right here and they're combining with this to form more complex substances. Now you have two compounds instead of uh, one compound here and one element. Now it's two compounds, CO2 and H2O. So it's becoming more complex in other words. You're combining two simple things to get a more complex one. Now let's talk about the second type of reaction, uh, decomposition. What this means is one complex substance generally will break down into two or more simpler substances. So the key word here is breakdown. Think of this as the opposite of direct combination. It's not becoming more complex now, now it's the opposite. You're breaking down to become more simple. So generally, AB, which is a more complex substance, will break down to form A and B, which are more simple substances. Now, examples of this include um, 2H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, breaking down to form 2H2O and 2O2. So basically what's happening here is you have a more complex substance, which is H2O2, breaking down to form the more simple substances, H2O and O2. And this follows the general format AB gives you A plus B, where um, H2O2 is AB, H2O is A, and O2 is B. All right, so H2O2 is breaking down to form H2O and O2. And in summary, this just means that hydrogen peroxide breaks down to form uh, water and oxygen gas. All right, so you have something more complex here, a compound of H2O2 breaking down to form uh, two simpler ones, which is water and oxygen gas. This was complex. These two are more simple. Same idea here. This also follows the general format um, 
AB gives you A plus B, but now we have another substance. But it's the same idea here. We had a more complex substance, CaHCO32, which is AB, breaking down to form CO2, which is A, um, H2O, which is B, and CaCO3 we can think of as being C. All right, so um, again, CaHCO32 is breaking down to form CO2 plus H2O plus CaCO3. All three of these are much simpler than this huge complex compound. All right, um, so basically what's happening is calcium bicarbonate here is breaking down to form uh, carbon dioxide, water, and calcium carbonate. So you have something more complex here breaking down to form CO2, H2O, and CaCO3, all three of which are more simple. Same idea in this final example, um, CaCO3 is AB, CaO is A, and B is CO2. So you have something more complex here, CaCO3, breaking down to form the two more simpler substances, CaO and CO2. So CaCO3 is a complex compound, and CaO is a simpler compound, and CO2 is also a much simpler compound. So basically, calcium carbonate will break down to form... Um, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. All right, so everything's just becoming more simpler. Huge complex substance, simple substance, simple substance. A, B breaks down to A and B. A, B breaks down to A, B. Sorry, A, B, C breaks down to A, B, C you can think of. This one is A, B breaking down to A and B. So everything's becoming much simpler because everything's being broken apart basically from what it was originally. Now let's talk about the third type of reaction, a single replacement, also known as substitution. Generally what happens here is one substance is replaced or knocked out by a more active one. So the whole idea here to remember single replacement is just think replace one. The general equation format for this is, a, is as follows. You have AB, which is a compound, plus C, reacting to give you CB plus A. So generally, in summary, what happens here is C is more active than A, so it takes its place. All right? And as a result, you get instead of AB, um, A has been replaced with C. So now you have CB. And A comes out by itself because it's less active. So basically, this, this substitutes for this. So now you have CB plus A. And the only reason why C substitutes for A is because it's more active. All right. Examples of this include the following. Um, you have CuNO32 plus Zn reacting to give you ZnNO32 plus Cu. And basically what happened here was that Zn is more active than Cu, so it replaces it. And you get ZnNO32 and Cu, which is knocked out. So zinc replaces the copper and copper 2 nitrate to form zinc nitrate and Cu. Uh, same idea here, NaI plus Cl2 reacts to give you NaCl plus I2. So um, Cl2 is more active than the I in NaI, so it knocks it out and replaces it to give uh, you uh, NaCl plus I2, since Cl replaced I, and I is knocked out. All right, uh, same idea here, Al is more active than the H in H2O. So it replaces the H and it reacts to form ALOH3 and the H2, or sorry, the H will get knocked out. All right, something is knocked out and replaced by something else. So basically C is stealing um, A's place and A is getting knocked out. It steals this and it gets knocked out. All right, so um, here this is A in red, B in blue, C in green. All right, so C replaces A, and A gets knocked out. C replaces A, A gets knocked out. C replaces A here, and A gets knocked out. Finally, we have double replacement reactions, which are also known as ion exchange. What this means is positive ions are exchanged between two compounds. Usually they're ionic, not always, but usually they are. And... Um, the three ways in which a double replacement reaction occurs is after the positive ions are switched between the two compounds, um, you produce a precipitate, a gas, or a molecular compound. That's the three ways in which it can happen. 
So the general equation format is AB plus CD gives you AD plus CB. So basically what happens here is, as you can see, A and C switch places. The first, um, the first uh, elements in each compound switch places. So C switches places with A. So therefore we have AD plus CB since A goes here and C goes there. So they switch places. All right, let's see some examples of this. Um, we have AgNO3 plus NaCl gives you AgCl plus NaNO3. So very straightforward, Na switch places with Ag here. So therefore we have AgCl in its place and now we have NaNO3 in its place. And the reason why a double replacement reaction occurred is because um, AgCl, which is a precipitate or a solid formed. S tells you that a solid or precipitate formed out of this reaction. Same idea here, Na2S plus 2HCl reacts to give you H2S plus NaCl. All right, so H and Na switch places, so now we get um, H2S since H replaces Na and Na replaces uh, H. So therefore we have um, H2S and we have NaCl. And double replacement reaction occurs here because you'll see by this G that a gas formed. Finally, we have NaOH plus HCl. Um, we see that Na and H should switch places, so therefore we get um, NaCl here, since Na replaces H and H replaces Na. So we get NaCl plus H2O, since these two um, switch places. All right, so now we have NaCl, H2O. And the double replacement reaction only occurred here because a molecular compound formed. The molecular compound formed here is H2O, right here. All right, so anytime you have a molecular compound, a gas, or a precipitate forming, you know a double replacement reaction can occur and that the ions definitely can switch. So just to note, um, we have AB plus CD giving you AD plus CB. You have A here in red, B in blue, C in green, and uh, D in purple. So A in red, and C in green here switch places, A in red and C in green here switch places, A in red and C in green uh, here switch places. And that's how you got all of these um, products like this. All right. Now let's try an example using what we've learned, example problem one. So I'm not going to read the questions, but I'll just go through these one by one. In part A, where you have a reaction where two or more reactants form one product, if you have two or more reactants forming one thing, that usually means they're simpler and they form something more complex. So this is called synthesis, or A plus B gives you AB. Here you have NaHCO3 breaking down into CO2, H2O, and Na2CO3. So think about it as a decomposition where you have AB being more complex, breaking down into something simpler, A plus B. All right? Um, I'm going to skip around a little bit just to save time. Same idea in F. NH3, which is more complex, breaks down into simpler N2 and H2. So this again is decomposition where you have AB, which is more complex, breaking down to A and B. Next, we have double replacement, um, where we have um, CaNO3 2 plus H2SO4 gives you CaSO4 plus 2HNO3. So basically what happened here is um, Ca and H switch places to give you CaSO4 since Ca goes here, and 2HNO3 since H goes here. So basically A and C switch places. So this is double replacement where A and C switch places giving you, um, sorry, yeah, um, AB plus CD gives you AD plus CB because A and C basically switch places. All right, um, we also have a single, sorry, we also have a synthesis where we have Fe and O2, which are simple, uh, combining to force something more complex, which is Fe2O3. So this is synthesis where A and B are more simple and they form something more complex, AB. Single replacement, Mg knocks out an H and becomes MgO2 plus H2. Same idea here. Um, F2 knocks at I2 since it's more active and it becomes CuF2 plus I2. Single replacement A, B plus C gives you CB plus A since A is more, sorry, C is more active than A so it knocks it out. And finally, three scenarios in which a double replacement reaction might occur are the following if you form a precipitate, which is an insoluble solid, a gas, or a molecular compound.
Finally, I'd like for you to try the problems on the slide on your own for homework and bring it in for Monday, January 13th. Thank you very much.